Thanks to the GIZ and its Forest for Future team, we've been able to develop the free Tree Mapper app that helps forest restoration projects easily track and monitor their impact. Let me show you how it works. Ruben starts by downloading the app in the Play Store or the App Store and logs into his Plant for the Planet account. The app will quickly download a database of species onto the phone. We'll see what that's good for in just a bit. Now he's ready to go. He leads a team of 20 reforesters and has the app on his phone. At the end of the planting day, he selects registered trees and then multiple trees since his team just planted thousands. He heads to the first corner of the day's planting area, records the coordinate and takes a picture. He then repeats that process at the other corners of the planting area until the polygon is complete. It's that simple. At this point, the app asks him to register what was planted in that site. His team planted 1,050 Chico Zapote, 900 Palo de Tinte, 600 Chacte, 600 Morena, and a few more species. Next, Ruben is asked to register a few sample trees that can then be tracked over time. How many trees he registers is up to him. However, the app strongly recommends sampling at least one tree per species planted, ideally more. The process is very straightforward. Pick a tree, record the location, take a picture, measure the height and diameter, and finally add a tree tag. And on to the next tree. Once he's done with the last tree, the entire process is complete. Now, most restoration sites are outside the range of cell towers, but that's not a problem. The app works fully offline and will automatically upload your registered trees when it reconnects to the internet, regardless of whether that happens later that day or after weeks in the field. As soon as the data is uploaded, the planted site is added to your project's public map so that your donors, supporters, and fans can watch your progress every day. The data from all participating projects is also made available for restoration ecologists and other researchers. But you don't have to make all the data public. You can also choose to use Tree Mapper to collect data for internal use only. Simply export it to your own files instead of uploading it to the Plant for the Planet platform. Is there any other data you'd like to track not included in Tree Mapper standard process? Like which team members planted those trees or who provided the seeds and seedlings? Not a problem. Tree Mapper also includes a powerful form builder that allows you to add extra form fields. And you can then also choose whether to make that data public as well or keep it for internal use only with a flick of a switch. Some of your team members might not know all the scientific names of the species you're planting. To make it easier to identify them in the field, you can add a photo and a locally used name to all your species. Smaller organizations or urban planting projects might not plant large amounts of trees all at once in one location. For them, we've added the ability to register individual trees. But of course, we're not done yet. We're continuously adding new features. Starting a few months from now, you'll be able to remeasure your sample trees to track your sites over time. And that feature will be just as easy to use as the rest of the app. In fact, the phone will notify you when you need to head out again and remeasure certain trees. And these trees will be super easy to track down based on the GPS locations in the phone and the tree tags on the tree. And after that, we're adding monitoring um, plots. So you'll be able to create permanent plots to track a range of ecosystem recovery indicators over time. And you'll even be able to pair them with control plots where you don't plant any trees to compare the impact of your work with a sort of non-intervention scenario. And after that, we support, we're adding support for other restoration strategies like farmer-managed natural regeneration and uh, applied nucleation. But this will take some time. And if you have any ideas how we might be able to improve Tree Mapper beyond that, or if you experience any issues using the app, please reach out to us. And like all our projects, Tree Mapper is open source, so anyone can repurpose the code or add new tools and features on top of it. I sincerely hope that Tree Mapper helps you in restoring forest ecosystems, and we're looking forward to hearing from you.